So I am going to teach you a really cool thing here. Um, I don't know if anyone's been working on replication and trying to replicate movement between peer-to-peer -peer, uh, clients and servers and trying to get into moving vehicles with physics over the network. Uh, it's quite a mouthful and it's really not easy. So. Um, I've been working on this rover here for a few days here, just kind of getting everything all working and all that. And one of the biggest pains in the asses that I have seen so far is the fact that the client here on the right hand side uh, can pop into a vehicle. He can drive around. Everything looks good. Even from the client's uh, side, it looks fine. But the minute that you get in um, and drive around, you're seeing, you know, the client or the server sees it fine, but the client sees some some weird shit going on, uh, and that's just uh, that's just a pain in the butt. Uh, it replicate it stops itself when you when you stop. It kind of sets itself better, but that's just that's just not not doing it. Especially if you are this is even worse. Let's say I'm uh, switched to the first to the driver side, and it's just me driving. So this is what you're gonna see on a dedicated server. If I could drive around this guy, honestly. Okay, that'll help. Anyway, um, as you can see, just driving, it's twitchy and it's nasty. You're not in the right spot. Uh, it just doesn't work. I mean, the location of the vehicle is just, just peachy, but the rest of it's not. So, um, yeah, I'll just show you a quick way to fix that. Uh, I know that it's probably... I mean, if you're like me, I spent hours and hours and hours, and I've seen people spend days and weeks on it. But really, the um, the fix is quite nice and very easy. So uh, I'm working with Rtune. So I've got this. Uh, I'm working with Rtune and some other plugins here. So I've got got a kind of a different setup than most people would have. But um, the basis is the same. And what it is is when you uh, when you attach the component or the actor to the other actor. Um, what happens is you have to do a couple things to do that. If you're not just doing a straight um, possession, which um, for there's a lot of reasons you would do that, and that and one of them would be like uh, you actually are playing as the pawn and you're casting to the vehicle, uh, so you'd still get shot. You could do your thing. It's a lot easier that way. It's probably the best way to do it. But um, in in every any one of those cases, what you're going to do is you're going to be setting the uh, on the on the server and the multicast, you're going to be setting the actor's collision uh, to no collision. Um, and then you're going to be setting the uh, movement mode and you're going to be disabling movement while that happens. So he doesn't start to move or do anything like that. Um, and also doesn't, you know, uh, collide with the, the vehicle and send it flying into space. That's something I've seen a lot of times if you forget to do that. But anyway, so um, what's happening here is the server and the client are getting into a little bit argument of, you know, they're doing some movement error checks uh, and trying to correct that uh, discrepancy on the moving stuff. And that's where you're getting that jitter back and forth. So uh, to fix that, as easy as it may sound, just click and drag right off of the character movement component and type in ignore client movement error checks and correction. And we want to set that value to check. And then you put that on the other side of the disable movement. Uh, when you re-enable the movement, you want to turn that off again. Uh, but uh, that's it in a nutshell. Um, in case you guys just don't believe me and think I'm full of crap, um, here we're going to pop into a uh, pie editor and we're going to see what's going on. Um, do the same thing that we did before. Hop in there. This guy goes in there. Hops in there as well. Switch over to here. And smooth as butter. Isn't that great? I know. If we want to kind of go on a little bit further, I can just get out of there. This guy here can, you know, switch seats to driver's side. And you can see smooth as butter on him too. And if I do kind of a whirly bird around here, you can see he's good too. I'm using the smooth sync plugin. So. Everything on the rover itself is is really doing well, um, but it's just that actor component. It's, it's because it's a skeletal mesh with a movement, a character movement component. It just gives you trouble. But hopefully, this has uh, actually saved some people ripping out their hair or having a hell of a week. But uh, that's it in a nutshell. Let me know if you appreciate this, if this helped you, or if you have any questions, or if it's not working, whatever. Love to hear your comments and everything. But uh, yeah. 
hopefully uh, that makes your week or your day or your month, depending on how long you've been after this. All right. Talk to you all later. Bye.